doing stuff here? You're in your garage. You may be able to guess, since I'm putting on my safety vest and I have on my full face helmet, that I'm going to be hitting the road. If that was your guess, you're correct. I'm heading to Dunkin' Donuts on the MSX. This is going to be a quick run, figuratively and literally, hopefully. All right, so let's get Darkness Bot going. I'm now a fan of Darkness Bot. Thanks to uh, Mickey, Mr. EVX. All right. And uh, Face ID will not work on my iPhone 11 with a helmet on. Not surprising. All right, we're connected. This is very exciting, I know. Let's extend you. All right. Let's get my, let's, uh, let's get my mirror going here. Got my ring alarms going off. It's uh, relatively early. It's like around 9.30ish or so. Something like that. I want to get out before it gets uh, ridiculously hot, which it has been lately. Yesterday, the heat index with the humidity was right around 100 degrees. It's freaking April, guys. <laughs> 100 degrees. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So, Want to get out there before uh, it's that warm? We'll see. We'll get two Dunkin' Donuts and back, lickety split. So I'm on day four of a uh, five day staycation. I took off Thursday, Friday. I also took off tomorrow. Um, sadly, I really haven't gotten out to ride at all yet. This is my first day riding. As is usually the case, I just find stuff to keep me busy. I always got something going on, it seems. Always. But I'm hoping over these last two days I'll get to ride a little bit more. So we shall see how that works out. The only downside of darkness spot is I don't have any, any integration with my watch. I wonder if it works with the uh, Apple Watch because darkness spot is an iOS app. I'm not sure if it works with the Apple Watch or not. If it does, because I do have one, it's not in great condition, but it would be nice to have my speed on my wrist. I have no idea how fast I'm going right now. Uh, it definitely doesn't feel like I'm in the 30s, but we're, we're, we're uh, trucking along pretty good. All right, I did just quickly check darkness spot, and it did say that I've already touched 30 miles an hour. So. MSX performing as expected. Love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And oh, we'll go through the waste. I have to tell you, as I'm riding the MSX, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning the need for me to have the monster. I mean, this thing is so happy at speed. I mean, the only thing that I'd be missing out is the ability to uh, ride seated. You know, with, with real long rides, that is a nice bonus. But other than that, you know, the MSX would uh, fit that need almost entirely. Once again, we've got lots of debris in the bike lane. Little pieces of metal, rocks, uh, and other... Uh, various obstacles so that's one thing that's worrisome you know <clears throat> going fast means you have less time to see and react to things in the road thank you captain obvious so all the talk in the euc world has continued to revolve around the in motion v11 versus the king song s18 the two new wheels that uh, both have been announced with their own spin on uh, independent suspension. It seems like from a suspension uh, perspective alone, the S18 is using a more uh, robust system, has more travel, uh, you have the ability to lock it out so it behaves like a normal EUC. 
you can actually uh, tune the amount of um, give and you can actually swap out the shock itself which is kind of cool as far as I'm aware the only uh, adjustment you can do on the in motion is you can control the amount of air pressure in the cylinders and that in turn uh, affects how much dampening you're getting so from a suspension standpoint I think the King Song uh, definitely is the winner without a doubt From an aesthetics standpoint, the way that the wheels look, I don't think it's quite as clear as far as who is the winner. There's a lot of people that really like the way the S18 looks. What the hell's all that? Um, it def the S18 is definitely the, uh, the most unique looking of the two with the exposed suspension components, which I actually thought, uh, I thought it was a prototype when I saw it uh, announced at first. So yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. But the V11 is very unique looking as well. It really is. It has a, like a, a Mad Max look, uh, obviously because uh, it's a little bit more conventional because it doesn't have exposed components, but I think the V11 looks pretty damn sharp as well. And I thought it actually looked better in the, uh, the real ride footage than it did in the rendering. So I'm a fan of the way the V11 looks. So when you deal with those first two categories, it seems like, you know, the S18 has a pretty sizable lead, but I think when you start digging into some of the more technical aspects of the wheels that the, uh, the uh, competition gets a lot closer. Uh, both wheels have a rated top speed of 50 kilometers an hour, but the InMotion has a larger battery, 1402 watt hours versus 1100. Uh, but it also has some cool stuff like an intelligent smart BMS system, uh, which is a, a first in electric unicycles. Uh, it has the, what they claim to be automotive uh, level lighting, which is uh, a cool feature. And, and an integrated kickstand, which kind of looks shitty, but uh, it does have it. So, you know, all in all, I would think as far as the, the wow the wow factor, I think the S18 had, does have a slight lead. Uh, but that being said, I have my deposit on a V11. So, you know, I don't know what that tells you, but it might tell you something. And of course, there's always a possibility that a V11 and an S18 make, it, make its way into my collection somehow. Uh, for that to happen, I would probably have to thin out my collection, you know, swap it out, <laughs> swap out one of my other wheels, which isn't a big deal. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, regardless, it's a pretty exciting time. I, have, I haven't felt this much excitement in uh, the EUC community since the Z10 was announced. That's my general feeling. Hey, wow, we're at Heritage Bay already. That didn't take long at all. MSX just gobbles up the miles, man, at a very, very rapid pace. Extremely rapid. No motor vehicles, uh, that doesn't count. EUCs aren't motor vehicles, right? Just glance that, um, Darkness spot again, top speed on this ride uh, up to 31.3. You know, that, that's the speed that if I'm on any of my other wheels, short of the Monster, and even the Monster isn't real happy at that speed, the Gen 1 Monster. Uh, at any of my other wheels, that would be concerning. Uh, I don't have to be concerned on the MSX. One thing I have definitely noticed since the quarantine is more people out and about. Riding bikes, walking, it's a good thing, right? Definitely can't hurt. Nice, empty roadways. Well, it was empty. 
this guy in the SUV doesn't, uh, or in the minivan doesn't hurry up, we'll pass him. I'm rocking my new wrist guards. And you may say, hey, they look just like your old ones. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Same model, Killer 187s. My old ones, uh, the, the, um, the hard support fell out. I lost it somehow. Uh, and they were beat up and they kind of stretched out and stuff and scraped up, so it was, it was time for new ones. But uh, if, if you know me, you'll, you'll know that I'm the type of person that uh, if something's working for me, I generally stick with it. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but they, yeah, that's, that's the way I am with a lot of stuff. So, uh, works for me, bought another set. Had a, um, something itching me on my right leg yesterday, my right upper thigh yesterday. Scratched it and I, it, it was really itchy. And I um, pulled my, my shorts up to, to look at it and it was a huge welt. It looks like it was a spider bite. I'll put a picture of it here. You know, those of you that don't like seeing gross things, you might want to fast forward a couple seconds. Uh, but yeah, it was. It looked all kinds of gnarly. Um, but then we sprayed it with some Benadryl spray just so I wouldn't be itching it. And it seemed like if I let it alone, it, it kind of went down. But yeah, spider bites are a thing down here. Uh, not, not very fun, and I'm not quite sure how I would get one at that portion of my body. You know, I don't remember uh, doing anything uh, with spiders. I see a dude on a one wheel. Dude on a one wheel. I think it's a one wheel, or is it a scooter? No, I think it's a one wheel. Shit, I'm not going that way, let's see. No, that's, that's a one wheel, nice. Oh, I think I might run into him up ahead here. Very cool. I've seen uh, guys on one wheels uh, around the Naples area from time to time, but not not North Naples, not not out my way. So that's cool. I came up and I was like, dude, you know how fast you go? I'm like, no. He goes, you're like 23. And oh my God. Slow down. <laughs> yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever gone above like 18 on mine, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I, I've seen too many horrible nose dive videos. I ride with my feet super close. Yeah, I noticed that puts all the weight on the tire, not the motor. Right, so it doesn't have to balance you as much. Yeah, so yeah. I, can, I can go a little bit faster. That's cool. But... Have you ridden a pint? Yeah, um, it's, I like how I can do like spins and stuff on them. It's so, it's so maneuverable. It's the range. It's the range. Well, I have, I, I have a, a treaded on here. so I, Well, I that cuts that. down your range, right? Uh, like by two miles. Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah, I rode my pint. 10 miles to Dunkin Donuts. It made it 10 miles. Yeah. But that, I was on fumes. Yeah. Okay. So with the, the softer compound, you can actually pump it up harder and still get that soft feel. And so you're getting the miles that you want, but also the, the cushion. Does it have a more rounded profile too? Yeah. So, it, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like about the Pine is that the tire has a rounder profile, so it's more maneuverable. I still, I still have the stock Vega on my XR. Yeah, yeah the one that I fell, I, I just, I was going up a really steep mountain. I was in California, and I just basically charged up the hill, but the nose hit the hill. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Slam. This Bodie Harrison, he's on YouTube now. He's doing all this stuff, but it's like this. But, like, faster and more smooth. Really? I'm the first person to ever do it. Got it on film. No then shit. Bodie Harrison started doing it, and then I've got, like, the, where you go this way. Spin it this way. You hop back on, go the other way. Oh my god, dude. And uh, so, yeah, some of the YouTubers are starting to do that now, but I was doing it like two years ago. And do you go on there? Yeah. Yep. No, he loves That's it. Crazy. That's cool. I'm <laughs> like, dude, just get an XR, sell that. I know, right? It wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. But, uh, nice. All right, Justin, nice to meet yeah, you, bud. You too. Take it easy. Sounds like that. that is uh, a one wheeler with skills, mad skills. It's funny, he knows clay. Uh, those, those of you that have been on my live streams, you probably uh, recognize the name Clay. Clay's a kite boarder, uh, one wheeler down here in Naples, and uh, he knows Justin. That's Justin. Awesome, huh? All right, we're here. Okay, let's see what Darkness Bot says here. I still can't do Face ID. Really like my iPhone 11, though, so far. 27% battery used for 
a 12 mile, I've done 12 miles so far. It's okay, not bad. So we are going to uh, reverse and push our way back. It's been a while since I've uh, done a EUC coffee run, man. What's up, buddy? All right. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen someone uh, with a need work sign outside Dunkin' Donuts before. At the intersection. That area there to the left uh, used to be like a nursery. Uh, leveled and cleared out for yet another shopping center slash residence uh, parcel. And it's uh, all over the place in Southwest Florida, even during uh, pandemics. Standing still like this, uh, I can feel the heat rushing in. I feel like I'm in a broiler. Thank goodness we have green light. And here we go. shade on the Scorpion, at least for me, it, it, it pretty much negates the need to wear sunglasses. It, it does a good job. Um, vision is real clear. It blocks the wind enough that it's not drying my eyes out. I, I really like this helmet. The only thing that's a, a slight negative is it's a little heavy. But uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's a great piece of equipment. close to the home stretch here I'm hoping to uh, by the time I get back I, I plug the Skydio in and I actually want to try to just come out again briefly and just ride a little a portion of this with the Skydio tracking me and see how it does in this condition I've been wanting to do that for a while so I think I'm gonna try to do that quickly so if you see any drone footage uh, uh, spreckled in here and there that's why so if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting a channel, please think about subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit that notify bell, which notifies you of um, all future uploads. It's over there somewhere. Uh, 87 or 88 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel that are watching this video. So yeah, uh, do me a solid and uh, think about subscribing. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Who do you think is ahead in the V11 versus S18 uh, hype, hype battle? What wheel are you more excited about and why? I'd be very interested in hearing about that. And uh, that's all I have for you for now. I hope uh, the rest of your weekend is enjoyable. Until next time, Duffman out. Sunlight kills germs. Just remember that.